On a rainy summer day in August, we explored an abandoned house that was once the home of an elderly man named Edward who lived by himself after his late wife Wilma passed away in 2011. After his wife's passing, Edward purchased this property in 2012 and moved out of the home that him and Wilma lived in together. Edward had a passion for photography and was a successful mechanical engineer who once designed missile systems for the U.S. Army. Before he retired, Edward was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and even had his name proudly flown on the side of the Goodyear blimp. All of Edward's possessions was left behind when he passed away, decaying with the rest of the house. Edward didn't have any family left to care for his home, so everything that was a part of his life ended up being forgotten. In the last years of Edward's life, his home was left in disrepair after being placed in a nursing facility for an extended period of time, until he passed away over three years ago. What's up guys, today we're exploring an abandoned house that's all the way down this path. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's look in here. What's in there? There's a car in there. What kind of car is this? The camera's foggy because of the rain. Motorcycle right there. Probably a Honda motorcycle. Let me fix my camera lens. Over here, you got Monopoly. Trash bins full of sticks. Random stuff. Let's take a look at this Honda. It um, doesn't seem to look like it's in horrible shape, but I know nothing about motorcycles, so... Damn. Surprised they left a whole entire car and a motorcycle in the garage. Yeah. A lot of wood. Part of fire. Flight fires. Cool. Let's go back out. Oh, look, there's another car right there. Yeah. Over there, the in the driveway. Let's see the other car right here. Look how old that thing looks. Let's go in this. Oh, it's creepy. Let's see. <laughs> Can I see it there? Pretty clean inside this old car. The camera let's keep getting foggy because it's misty out and it's raining. Let's check out the house now. Should we go first? I guess let's look this way. 
this is really coming down over here. It looks like there's a couch back there. There's so many. And like, yeah, sewing machine. This is definitely a bathroom. Frame, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's go up there. There's some type of machine on the floor. There's graffiti all over this wall. Yeah, there's really a lot of graffiti. Here's the front door, obviously. There's a lot of stuff left in here. Wow. Let's start in here. So it looks like this is definitely the main living room. God, I don't know what the, oh yeah, that's a dartboard. With an old TV. What is this thing? Is this like a doorbell? What was that? Knock, knock. You know what that wow. sound might be? A lot of everything is falling down on itself. Like, I don't know how much I can even, like, get in here, because you can see, like, everything's just warping. Yeah. This is 100% like their office. Looks like we got all sorts of books. All lined with books everywhere. Wow, yeah, this is really decayed. This is super decayed. There are definitely book people. Look at this stuff. What is that? Like a radar thing? So oh, sonar? wow. I don't know. Let's go look. Maybe you guys know what's going on here, but this looks like a thing that came out of a submarine. I don't even know what this thing is. Something about watts and this is definitely like like a microscope something, right? But to look at what? You got an abacus. Abacus for counting. And then I guess yeah, well that says Radio Shack, which is great. That this uh binder here. Color computer technical reference manual person in here must have just liked electronics. It looks like there's like electronic pieces on this thing behind the door. Let's see. 
What's that? Heath kit. What's a Heath kit? Weird. It's got like a joystick and stuff. It's like, yeah, you can see back here there's just like all nuts and bolts and computer parts and And here's an old monitor. That's pretty cool. Old Maganog. Magnavox. I've never heard of Magnavox. Computer manuals. These look like they're old, like, coupons and stuff like that. A catalog for science and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They probably like trains too. There's those like train pieces for model trains. And here we got everything still hanging on the closet. Just got some shirts. Lots of manuals. Lots of everything on the floor. Somebody really didn't uh, care for anything that was left behind. This is a lot of stuff. What a shame, yeah. This is one huge flashlight. Probably took like six batteries. That's crazy. This is all birthday cards and stuff. Not a card. Some more holiday cards. This is cool. Somebody must have made this for the owner. Gave it to him in a card. Just found this picture. Looks old. I wonder how old is the dude now. This is some sort of old train car toy. I wonder how old is this. It's pretty cool. Let's try to get out of here. Go to the other rooms. Nice floor is yeah, I'm leaning. Really scary. The rain is the coming entire in. Entire left side of this thing is sunken in. I can walk a little bit into it. But again, lots and lots of books. And all their clothes. Still hanging in the closet. And it looks like a Poland patch. Let's see if we can find anything else weird in here. There's a really old Benadryl or cough syrup. Just like notes thing to get your foot into shoes, some glasses back there. What's in here? Oh, lots more glasses, 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 glasses. 
Yeah, I want glasses. So. And then this is just some random bank stuff. They definitely like to read at night because they got a light here to light everything up for you while you're laying in bed. It's like you got something still in the bag here. Oh, wow. It's really surprising how much stuff is in here. Now you guys are always questioning and wondering why we don't give up too much history. This is why. This place was probably once intact and once something small gets out, a lot of people tend to come to these places and vandalize them. So, yeah, that's why we keep places secretive. Well, this, this room again, I'll try to actually maybe step foot in here and see what happens. All the work stuff, tool parts. Look how bad the wall is warping. Definitely really dangerous. This is like one of those director's chairs. Kind of looks like it. Oh, look, and there's actually an old camera in here. Let's take that out. Cut it in here. Oh, there's no lens. It's X. Uh, I don't know what that is. Never heard of it before. It's really old though. Looks like they got some, maybe some medicine in here. Some really old stuff. Let's take some out. Full, uh, I don't know what that is. X for external. Something something. You can see really old cough drops in here. Some more prescriptions everything. There's pills over here. Wow. Brushes. These shower curtains are pretty cool. They're like Egyptian themed. Oh, look at that spider. Nothing special, obviously, in a bathroom, but. Huh. Here's a stethoscope. Some pretty artwork. Gross toilet. Oh. This smells like chemicals in here. I don't know why. This is the kitchen. Let's see. If there's anything in here. Nope. Ew. Just... Some gross stuff. Wow, that's cool. I like these. Wow, that... Wow, the smell of the fridge came out now. It's bad. These are really old boxes of food. Let me look in here. Wow. Maple syrup. Random stuff drawer. Got like a remote. Toothpicks. Other type of kitchen stuff. Well, that's a pretty cool piece of artwork. Whatever that is. Paperwork.
whiskey. This must be a llama or something like that, I'm going to guess. Yeah, a llama. With a massive cobweb right next to it. Nobody's opened that door in a really long time. like some chargers but definitely for this part this is definitely an office this looks like blueprints to something maybe to this house clearing reducer interesting there's an old wallet let's see if anything's in this wallet Nope, I think it's empty. Very pretty, whatever this is. Let's see if anything's in this box. What's in here? Maybe I can put it down for a second. And I can get this flashlight back on so we can take a look. Now, I'll pick up the camera because it doesn't seem like anything crazy. Looks like pieces for something. Maybe camera parts? It's a nice little clock. Interesting colored bulbs. Some random stuff for cameras. I could see more film. Stuff like that. Definitely was big camera people. In there. I don't know what this is. I guess it displays pictures. Imagine this was still in the box. That would be so cool. Some old machines. Here's a cool illustration of a body. I want to know what opens up here, so I'm going to move this back. Okay, CDs and a disc player. Interesting. And I guess people have been playing darts. These are all still on the walls. Guess that's a pretty cool hangout spot. So much stuff left behind in here. Look at this thing. Old. Uh, there's a lot of clocks in here. And some tennis rackets. That's cool. What is these things? If you know what this uh, if you know what this is, let me know. I don't know they have a box like that. It's all Radio Shack stuff. All Radio Shack. That looks like an iPad. 
I mean, an iPad, oh my god. <laughs> like an Apple computer advertisement. Let's pull this apart. Oh my god. We're gonna have to blow her out this part because it's a receipt. But it's like the original like poster that wow. would have gone with this computer. That's cool. That is nuts. How cool is that? We're at the Radio Shack. <laughs> we need to find a Radio Shack. Yes, we do. It's on our list. One day. Wow, that's an old one. 1989. Radio that's Shack cool. Computer Centers. That's so freaking cool. It's in such good condition, too. That's actually really amazing. Like, look at all these computers. I can't even believe it. That's what people use, you know? So when looking behind some stuff, I found it. Found the Dragon Tano. And it doesn't have cords, but it's here. Isn't that cool? Let's see. Let's see. Failed. Throw it. I'm gonna try it. Me? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see. That's somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Nope. Oh. I think I hit another one off though. <laughs> I think the one was blue. That shit was red though. That's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, we both hit it in the same spot. Kind of, not really. Let's see this one. Ready? Oh, seven. Man, I think that's cool. All right, so real quick before we go, let's show you what we did here, how we set it up, made it look like the way it would have been if you were sitting here watching TV. Okay guys, we just finished up exploring the whole place. This place was pretty cool. A lot of old stuff. The decay is unreal. It's, it's gonna fall apart sooner or later. But yeah, we just finished up cleaning up this little room, setting up a shop for our Instagrams. We'll show you guys that right after this. And of course, you gotta make sure to go on our Instagrams, check out those photos once you post them. Urbax Vibes, Real Zek, and Oxidize93. Make sure to hit that bell so you know when we have any more videos coming up every week. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, give us a like, and we'll see you on our next explore.